Hey guys, Vince here. In this video, I'm going to show you the right way to update an existing chart JS object with new data. Um, of course, you could be feeding this data from a back end. You could be um, just doing a multitude of different things. In this example, in this code pen, we're just going to grab data from user input from these values. So let's say that we had pie, cookies, cheesecake, um, ice cream, and then the values were 10, 20, 10 point. 10, 20, 5, and 35. And then we click our update chart button here and the chart is not destroyed. Um, we are using the chart.js update function to update the chart, which I believe is the proper way to go about this. You'll actually see here uh, what prompted this question is, I found uh, the math here. This question has been viewed 6,000 times. Uh, and he said he tried the, the update, the remove data, the clear, the destroy, which I'm going to cover all these in different videos, of course. But basically that the update, uh, he didn't get any good results. And referenced this question, which has been viewed almost 200,000 times, um, that again references this update, but then the answer doesn't show you how to use the update function. And it's really simple to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and refresh the code here, and I'll just walk you through. We are, of course, in the HTML bringing in the chart.js library and then i'm just creating two labels one for the new labels and one for the new datas and then we are setting our canvas element for my chart and then we just have a button that calls this update chart data um, so basically with this we are instantiating our chart and calling it my chart and passing in our months and data's array as our default data and then what you need to do is let me just let's just pull up the dev tools because i don't want to just blunt you guys just blindly follow me uh, let's hit update chart. So what I want you guys to see here is with the chart.js update function, you can actually go in and change all kinds of stuff. Um, so for our intents and purposes, we're going to go into the config, go into the data, and then that should look really familiar. Our labels of the current existing chart, and then we can go to the data sets, which is an array of objects. And in that first item, we have the data. Um, so to update an existing chart, all we need to do is pass a new array to that part of the chart object. Stick with me. It's going to make sense here in just a moment. So what we're doing here is basically grabbing the values of the labels input field and the data's input field, which we've called new labels and new datas, um, and tying those to a variable name. And then what we're doing is basically, I'm just putting a little bit of logic in here. Um, if anything's been typed in. So if the length of the input value is greater than zero, it does not equal zero. Um, we are going to take that string and turn it into an array because that's what chart.js is expecting is an array, not a string. And then we're just drilling into siloing into that part, my chart, config, data, and labels, and setting it to that array from our user input or that we created from our user input. And then same for the data. So we're going in, grabbing all of the items in here, that's comma separated values, which would have been a string. So we're taking that and turning it into an array because that's what Tar.js is expecting. And then we're siloing into my chart, config, data, data sets, the first data set, and then the data um, within that data set and setting it to that new array that we created. And then we're simply calling this my chart dot update and um, updating the chart. We're not doing anything strange. I know um, like this, this fellow here was basically saying to remove the old chart from the canvas that you're using. And then, so basically remove the old canvas element um, and replace it with a new one. Um, and then this one was basically doing something similar, saying the first tried to clear and then to destroy. And then finally what worked for them was deleting the canvas element and appending a new canvas element. I, I, they work. I don't think it's the proper way of doing it when chart.js provides an update function. And that, as you just saw, is super easy to use. If you found that helpful, please like the video and subscribe for further helpful videos. And then uh, comment down below if you guys have any questions that you'd like for me to try to answer in regards to different JavaScript libraries. Until next time, talk to you later.